Dozens of the world's best kite boarders are competing on the San Francisco Bay. But as KPX 5's John Ramos explains, there is one competitor who stands out from the crowd. The hard winds at San Francisco's Chrissy Field Beach are good for flying kites, and boy, can these kites fly. Oh, yeah, wow. We haven't seen them up this close until now. Welcome to the third stop on the International Hydrofoil Pro Tour. Hydrofoils are kite surfboards with a small wing extending about three feet down. Basically, you get up on what's called a plane, and um, you're pretty much going full speed um, through the bay. Racers can hit up to 50 miles per hour, and as they crisscross between pylons, the race itself becomes a bit chaotic to the untrained eye. It's hard to tell who's going what way um, or where the course is. We didn't, I didn't actually know it was a race. These are the best hydrofoil kite surfers in the world, but in this field of 47, one was battling more than just the wind. 16 year old Daniela Moroz of Lafayette was the only woman in the race. You know, it's a very male dominated world, the world of kite surfing, sailing, everything, and so it's great to see another girl out there, and especially because she's so young. Daniela is no fluke. She is the reigning world champion among women and trains closely with men's champion Nico Parlier, who pretty much ran away with today's competition. Daniela says this sport is mostly about technique, but men have the advantage of being heavier and can handle larger, more powerful kites. Racing against the best guys in the world is definitely intimidating, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's also, you know, I'm really happy to be out here and I'm really like grateful that I can do that. Hydrofoil isn't a well-known sport yet and most can't quit their day jobs to do it. But Daniela hopes the sport will grow as she grows into it and that one day she can pursue it as a career. At Chrissy Field, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Well, Daniela grew up in a family of windsurfers and began kite racing at the age of 12. She is now ranked 17th in the world.